Hi, hey everyone, yay, I'm Caroline and welcome to this video on the secret languages of TikTok. This is my husband, Daniel. That's right, I've been someone's wife this whole time. The most famous secret language or language game, also called an Argo or a Cant, is Pig Latin. And if you're familiar with any of the ones in this video, that's probably the one you're familiar with, although not necessarily. By secret language, for this video, we mean a code that is built on a natural language, so for example, English, and you take the natural language and then you either change something about the order of the words or you change something about the order of the sounds in the words or you add something to the words to make it unrecognizable to other speakers of English. And therefore, it is your secret language. When I was younger, my mom taught me how to speak Pig Latin and growing up, me and her, we would have like these conversations. Nobody else understood. My dad didn't even know how to speak it. So he was like always confused. So you know how this one works, right? I do, I do. I also spoke Pig Latin as a child, uh -huh. being the talented multilingual child that I am. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it's very easy. You just take the first letter, stick it at the end and add A. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to try and use these secret languages to read movie quotes to each other and have the other person guess what the movie quote is. So since you are a master of the Igpe or Atenle... Okay, the real challenge here is not speaking the uh, made-up language, it's reading Caroline's handwriting. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Uye orking te ute ime? Are you talking to me? I can't do a Robert De Niro accent to save my life. No, but you got the quote. <laughs> I got yeah, it right from that. Taxi Driver. Hey! You talking to me? For the next ones, we need to know what a syllable is. So this is a quick little linguistics lesson for you. There's actually no good cross-linguistic definition of a syllable that applies to all languages at all levels of production and perception of syllables. But we're just going to focus on English for this uh, video because we're speaking English. Um, and there are kind of two ways that you can work out the syllables in a given word. So one way... Sorry. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> this is just really boring. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, it's great. Go ahead. But there are kind of two ways that you can work out what the syllables in a word are, and one is to clap along with the word, and usually your claps will coincide with the syllables. So, anti-disestablishmentarianism, anti-disestablishmentarianism. Each of the claps is a syllable. The second way, which I personally don't find super helpful, but you might, is to really sort of over enunciate the word, and then every time your jaw drops, that's a syllable. Anti disestablishmentarianism. So that's how you tell what the syllables of a given word are, but we also, for this particular video, need to know what a syllable is made up of. So take the word cat. Cat is a one syllable word, cat or cat. The first sound, the k, is what we call the onset. It's the onset of the syllable. The at is what's called the rhyme. And you can remember that it's called the rhyme because it's the bit that rhymes with other words, even though the spelling of rhyme is different in this case. So cat, flat, mat, pat, sat. All of that rhymes because the at at the end is the same. Then the rhyme is broken into two parts. You've got the a and the t. And the a is called the nucleus in linguistics, but we'll just call it the vowel for this video. And then you've got the t, which is called the coda. So you can have pretty complex syllables, especially in English. So the word strengths is one syllable, but it's got str, three sounds in the onset. It's got the e in the middle as the vowel, and it's got ngths as the coda. Strengths. So that's all one syllable very complex but basically it just shows that you can have more than one consonant in an onset or a coda. So the easiest secret languages involving the syllable level that we're going to be looking at is this language that has something inserted between every syllable. The language was called Pig Latin and basically what we had to do was we had to put she in between every syllable of a word. So if I wanted to say hello my name is Aiden I would say she hell, she low, she my, she name, she is, she a, she den. Wow, okay. This one's much harder. As they explained, you just put she in between every syllable and then you'll be speaking their secret language. And I did also notice that a lot of these people call their language Pig Latin, even though it's not um, 
what we typically refer to as Pig Latin, but I think it's just really interesting that Pig Latin is kind of used as a sort of catch-all by some families as a term for their secret language. The other interesting thing is that linguists actually use secret languages like this as evidence for the psychological reality of syllables. That is to say, they're not just something that linguists made up to make our lives easier, people actually know what syllables are in their minds. Okay, so my turn. She too, she in, she fin, she nin, she ni, she ti, she an, she be, she yond. Okay, one more time. She too, she in, she fin, she ni, she ti, she an, she be, she yond. All right, maybe one more time. <laughs> I'll slow it down for you. She too, she in, she fin, she ni, she ti. She and she be she yond. I have no idea. <laughs> something something beyond? Yeah. Is that in, was there a mention of T? <laughs> <laughs> to infinity and beyond! <laughs> <laughs> to infinity and beyond! Okay, alright. Wow, this is way more effective than I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I, uh, I found that completely unintelligible nonsense. <laughs> right, great, yeah. excellent. So these next ones are kind of like their own family. And you actually speak one of the dialects of this family. I was taught this secret language, I guess we always talk, called it gibberish, uh, by my grandparents. And it's just like this weird shushing one, but uh, involves vigor instead. So, for example, the vigis, ivigis, ivigay, grivigate, yuvigu, chivigu, chivigad, and yuvigul would be this is a great YouTube channel. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Nice plug there. <laughs> so, this was definitely the most common language that I found on TikTok. A lot of people called it gibberish, like you did. A lot of people also called it egg language. And what it is, is you've got the onset as normal, so that's the k in cat, and then you have the vowel, but kind of like a short version of the vowel. And then you add either dug, vug, or vug. And then you do the vowel again. And then you do the coda or the ter in cat. So cat becomes kudagat or kuvagat or kuvagat. So you speak the v uh, variety. The one that I've practiced, actually the only one of these that I've actually practiced is the dug variety. So the kudagat variety. Odgoi, Wadaga, Odaga, Stadaga, Tudugu, Bodago, Rodago, Edaga, Tedaga, Nedaga, Fodago, Midigi, Pedigees. Wadaga, Wadaga, Midigi. Pledigees, Hidigi, Sedaga, Nodago, Wedaga, Adaga, Adaga, Tedigim. Lodaga, Kedigi, Sedaga, Yedaga, Tudugu, Midigi. Fodaga, and Dodago. Dad. <laughs> you lot must be absolutely mad if you think I'm going to lend you a tenner. P.S. I basically invented egg language with my mates at school. So bye bye, ta ta for now. So there you go. Also, it says that uh, this person genuinely thought that they and their sister invented this language. And that's something that is actually really common across these TikToks is a lot of people didn't realise that these are actually a lot more widely used than they had thought. Some of them are, from what I can tell, just their family but most of them seem to be quite well known uh, languages so there's a whole if you go on the wikipedia page for language games it lists a whole bunch of them in a whole bunch of different languages and quite a lot of the ones that we'll go through in this video are on there but some of them aren't and vice versa inconceivable yeah that's great Although, not a quote anyone would recognise from just one word unless they're very familiar with this movie. That would be inconceivable. Inconceivable! 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 So there's a lot of varieties in this sort of lang language family. And not just the dug vug vug ones, but also ones where you just add in a G or you just add in a P. I also learned a language, it's called G language, and this was back in elementary, and I still know it to this day. It's a little simpler than the gibberish. It's, um, so you just put a G in every syllable. So my name is Deborah. I would say, my kind of game is the Deborah Gun. Whoa. Yeah. I feel like I should have done some training for this video. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Grigat Chigan Stigop Trigai Yinga Iging Tagu Magaik Fagach Hagap Begin. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen? Yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> but what is this? What, what movie is this? Mean Girls! That is so fetch. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. Oh. <laughs> I've definitely seen that many times. <laughs> it's one of the most quotable movies in existence. Great. Well, you are gonna have a hard time with some of these. <laughs> so there are other languages, like actual other languages, not just secret languages, where this same strategy for creating a secret language is used. So one example is idioma F in Spanish. So I did manage to find an example of this on TikTok. So I believe what they were saying in that last one was Si sabes lo que estoy diciendo, tu eres especial, which is if you understand what I'm saying, you're special. Okay, so I don't I don't actually speak Spanish. But like, could you teach someone just the sort of secret language version of Spanish no. and then have them translate it back into regular Spanish? Without having taught them Spanish to start yeah, yeah, with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that would be really difficult. <laughs> but you just gotta sort of swap out all the lexemes, right? Like it's just the words you've got to change. So we just have this version of Spanish where just everyone just happens to have a million <laughs> yeah. F's in the word. Yeah. I guess in principle. <laughs> so the way that one works is uh, similar to the other ones we've just looked at, you just put an F in the middle of every syllable. <laughs> You're thrown by my suggestion of teaching someone the whole language wrong. Yeah. But like, let's say you did that, then okay. could they could they learn to speak actual Spanish by just taking out all the F's? I guess so. I haven't actually seen any <laughs> secret languages where you take something out. If any of you know of any secret languages where you take stuff out rather than add stuff in, let us know in the comments. So the next family of secret languages that we're looking at is slightly different in that instead of having the vowel kind of split so that you just say the vowel either side and put something in the middle, instead these ones you have the onset, which is the cut and cat, then you add something in. Sorry, I'm so sorry. It's just gonna be the onset, so the cut and cat, the thing you add, and then the vowel and then the coda. This one is very popular as well as the bubble language. This one is called idig or idig, as far as I can work out. And basically what it is, is you have the onset, then you add idig or idig, and then you have the vowel and the coda. So cat becomes kidigat or kidigat. Just... <laughs> I did, I did yawn again, oh. I'm so sorry. Okay, so let's take a listen. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Okay, so there's this secret language my mom taught me from the time I was really, really little. Um, some people call it Ithig, some people call it gibberish. I've heard it spoken in at least one movie before, and um, I know things like this exist. So what you do is every spoken or audible um, vowel before it, you put Ithig. So if I was going to say, hi, this is Lauren. I'd say, hey, the guy, the the gets to the gets to the car again. I think it's your turn. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> let's, let's do this. Okay, what is it? Ivig. Ig, Ivig. Mithig. Mithigay. Vivigay. Vivigay. Sivigay. Bivigay. With the give. The the goo. Did I do that? <laughs> Did that work? I'm not sure that that was accurate, but I do know what you said. Okay. Well. May the force be with you. Yes. May the force be with you. I think I nailed it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you did. So these next ones are actually based on the spelling. They work by after every consonant in a word, you add a sound, then you say the names of every vowel, and that's how it works. So if you add ong, like this one will in a sec. So cat, it'll become kong a tong. So the k from the k in cat plus ong, kong, and then vowel, you just say the name of the vowel, which is a. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, and then the t, which is at the end of the syllable, you add ong to the end again, tong. 
So Kong A Tong All right. is cat. I find this one really hard to understand. Yes, okay. I think I will also do that. Let's, <laughs> Let's <laughs> take a listen. Yeah. So basically, you spell out the word. Every vowel, you just say the vowel. But every consonant, you add an ong at the end. So this is how it sounds. Yango Yurangi, a dongyu bang dong, bangai tong kong kong. Whoa. Yeah. Any idea what they said? No idea. So I listened to this one for a while, and I think they say, you're a dumb bitch. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> no. Alrighty. Oh, mm, I don't think you're gonna get this. Okay. Pongi long pong, mong e, o bong i, wong a nong, kong e nong o bong i, yong o yu rong e, mong y, uh, oh yong I guess, mong yong, uh, o nong long yong, pong o pong e. <laughs> was it honey? Is it the first word? <laughs> no. Was there like, was the last word like hope or something? Mm -hmm. Okay. And there was another word I thought I got, but I've forgotten it now. <laughs> I was too busy trying to like understand the other stuff. Okay. Is one of the words wrong? No. It's just part of the thing. Yeah. The ong bit. Yeah. Oh my god. I have no idea. I think even if I saw this written down, it would take me a while to work <laughs> out what it was saying. Okay. Let me narrow it down to you. It's from Star Wars. Okay, one more time. Hongi long pong, mong e, o bong i, wong a nong, kong e nong o bong i. Ah, it's help me, everyone. You're my only hope. This is our most desperate hour. Help me, Obi Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Once you told me it was from Star Wars, I heard the Obi Wan and the hope thing, and then. It's yeah. a very famous quote. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, well done. This secret language that we've just done, the Ong one, actually features in a movie called Fred, which has a claim to fame of getting 0% on the Rotten Tomatoes tomato meter, wow. or the tomatometer as I like to call it. Don't be a Wong, I'm Ong Pong. Oh, I'm going swimming. Later. I'm not a whip! It's there. Cool. It doesn't really feature. I had to watch the whole movie to find out where it happens, and that wasn't fun. Really? You watched, yeah, wow. I watched the whole movie. Dedication. Yeah. Look at what she does for yeah. you guys. Yeah, it's I amazing. work hard for this job. I will not be watching, <laughs> watching it. No. No. Look who's not dedicated. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting invited back. <laughs> <laughs> You're yawning. Now you won't even watch Fred the movie. Yeah, it's true. I will watch Mean Girls, though. Okay, Yeah. I'll hold you to that. Cool. Yeah. That is so fat. So there's actually someone on TikTok who is purposefully teaching us how to create our own secret language, which I think is very nice of them. How to make up your own secret language. This can be done in seconds. First, think of a single syllable gibberish word that starts with a vowel. I'm odd, so I'm going to go with ood. Any word in English, put the start at the end and add the sound. So for me, this would be erdwood. Aunclood. Oiletood. Apapood. Mm -hmm. Ebrazood. Ish food. Short words that start with a vowel like it, on, and, you know, just ignore them. Just say them normally. Everyone will still have no clue what you're saying. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's pick a syllable. Um, what about zing? No, because it's got to come straight after a consonant. It could be, like, ising. Okay, let's try it. Although that sounds like it could be room for disaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true, okay. Um, okay, what about um, iffle? Iffle. I like iffle. Okay, before we start. This is essentially... Exactly like Pig Latin, except instead of adding A when you move the letter, it's adding Iffle for us. Addle, Thiffle, Oodiffle, Ig Piffle, <laughs> Addle, Thiffle, Oodiffle. What? <laughs> Oodiffle, do. Ad Addle, Thiffle. Battle. What's a battle? That'll. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> well done. Well done. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Thanks for watching. 
we hope that you learned more about secret languages. Hopefully you have some inspiration now to create your own. And if you do already have one that I haven't talked about here, please let me know in the comments. I'm always super interested to find out. And obviously you can go check the Wikipedia page if you want to know about ones in other languages as well, as well as a couple in English that I didn't mention here. Thank you to all the TikTok people who have shared their cool secret languages with us. That's awesome. Love to see it. And other than that, you can go check out my previous videos. I've got two now, so this is my third. So yay us. And otherwise, what is that language again? Ifl, Ifl. Oh yeah. I biffle. I biffle. I biffle. Eyes giffle. Eyes giffle, yeah. <laughs>